Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to episode number 49 of the Houston Astros franchise here on MLB The Show 20. We have one game for you today and it's a home matchup for the Astros as they play the Los Angeles Angels for the first time. Here is a look at both of their lineups. Astros, the one we're kind of used to seeing, maybe minus a couple players switched around, but the Angels, Simmons, Goodwin, followed by Trout, Rendon, Upton, Jared Walsh at first base, followed by Joe Adele at DH, Jemai Jones, and D.V. Grulon behind the plate. It's a matchup of the Aces as Lance McCullers and Shohei Otani are on the mound for both teams. So if you're excited for this one, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. As here is Lance McCullers' numbers on the season. Two starts played absolutely phenomenal. He's given up one earned run in those two starts. As he's really kind of embraced that role as an ace with Grinke's trade in the offseason and Verlander declining a little bit. McCullers has done a great job stepping up in that position. Andrew Simmons will lead off for the Angels so far. He's got hitting 273 on the season. He's got a full count. He's going to chop this one to Bregman at third. He fields it and will throw him out at first for the first out of the inning. Next up, Brian Goodwin, 3-1 to Goodwin, and Goodwin's going to take a ball for a walk, so putting a runner on base with Mike Trout coming up to the plate, and Trout's going to take a 3-1 as well, and this time he's going to put it through the infield for a base hit, so Trout does what Trout's been doing for years. He gets on base. Now Anthony Rendon up next, and thankfully he's going to chop it to Altuve on the ground. That's a 4-6-3 double play, and that'll get us out of the first. Here is Shohei Otani's pitching numbers so far on the season through two starts also played absolutely phenomenal he's given up two runs in 13 innings as well as a 0.85 whip he's gonna start off with Altuve he's gonna try to bunt his way on board and that's actually a really good bunt Otani can't field it in time and Altuve is gonna have a leadoff bunt base hit that's gonna bring up Bregman on 0-2 count looks at a fastball for strike three he's gonna sit down this offense really struggling here in the early going of the season I'll Alvarez is going to do the exact same thing. Take a fastball down in the zone. He's going to look at it for strike three. So two bad strikeouts. And then Cannon is going to dribble it to Walsh at first base to end a pretty ugly bottom of the first. Top second now. Justin Upton leading off for the Angels. And Justin Upton is going to hit this one deep to right field. Ray's going at the wall. He looks up. And that ball is gone. Solo shot for Justin Upton. His third home run on the season. And the Angels will strike first. In the top of the second, as McCullers gives up only his second earned run of the season. 379 feet to right field was that one. Next batter is Jared Walsh. Hasn't got a hit so far on the season. 2-2. Two -two. Well, there he is. He's going to get his first hit on the season into right center field. And Springer corrals it. And that's now a runner on first. Joe Adele up next with 2-1. He's going to chop it to Correa. 6-4, 3 double play. Easy money. Now, Jemiah Jones is hitting 313 on the season. Pitch or hit very well, but he's going to swing at that pitch in the dirt and record strike three on the throwout strikeout. Now, bottom three now. Garrett Stubbs starting off for the Astros. Hasn't played that good this season, but he's going to get a base hit up the middle. That's going to get past the glove of Jemiah Jones. And Garrett Stubbs is on a board with no outs. That's going to take us back to the top of the order where Altuve, though, is going to chop one to the third base from Rendon. He gets Stubbs a second, but they can't get Altuve at first. So a little bit of a fielder's choice there. Next up, Bregman with 3-1 takes a fastball, and this time they will get the double play. 6-4-3, and the bats continue to struggle here in the early going. Now let's go top four with Justin Upton leading off. We just saw him hit that solo home run leading off the second. Will he be able to do the same thing? 1-2 to him, and, well, he's not going to get a home run, but he's going to beat the shift. That ball is going to get all the way to the wall. Reddick will get to it, but not before Upton has a leadoff double here in the top of the fourth. Next better is Jared Walsh. He's going to shoot this one on a line straight to Correa for the first out. Upton will not advance. Joe Adele will dribble this one to smoke, but that will allow Upton to advance. Now runner on third with two outs. For Jemai Jones, and Jemai Jones is going to deliver over the glove of smoke into right field. And the Angels have a 2-0 lead, and actually Jones is going to stretch that one all the way for a double. Good hustle play by Jemai Jones to turn that routine single into an RBI double. Divide Grulon, though, he's going to strike out with strike three, so 2-0 lead now here for the Angels. He's going to bring up Springer in the bottom of the fifth, really struggling to start the season. He got paid three years, 36 mil this offseason. Has yet to really deliver off to a slow start, but this might help into right field. No, it will not help. 
Beautiful sliding grab by Brian Goodwin. And the Astros continue to be unlucky at the plate. Correa up next. He can't catch up to the high heat. Might have been ball four. Well, that's two outs now. Sixth strikeout of the day for Otani. Ruddick's up next. A 2-0 count. He gets a fastball and drives it to right field. And that ball is actually going to get over the wall. That ball is gone. A solo shot for Josh Reddick. His first home run of the season goes 380. And the Astros are on the board with a home run. So it cuts this Angels lead to deficit. Finally gets Otani, really, for the first time as he's pitched pretty lights out. But Josh Reddick able to get it done with the solo shot. As we'll take another look at this one. He kind of just powers a fastball on the outside part of the plate. And somehow gets it to go into about the fourth or fifth row. So good job by Reddick. That's going to bring us to Garrett Stubbs. He gets a nice pitch to hit, but not enough behind it into right left field. And up to will record out number three. We're going to go a little later in this game. We're going to go top eight now. Brad Peacock is going to come into the game. Actually came in to end the seventh, but he's going to continue in into the eighth inning. Andrelton Simmons leading off 2-2 two, two to him, and he drives one deep to left field. Alvarez has to get at the wall and look up as that ball is gone. Another leadoff solo shot for the Angels, this time by Andrelton Simmons. He gets his first homer of the season, 360 feet to that short left field wall. And the Angels will get that run back as they now lead 3-1. to one. Next up is Brian Goodwin, 1-1 one, one to him. And he's going to not get through the shift as Correa will make the play there. Good shift there for the Angels, or for the Astros. And that's going to bring up Mike Trout. Before we get to Mike Trout, we're going to actually bring in a fresh arm, Alex Reyes, who had an abysmal 2020 season. He's off to a pretty solid 2021. 102, Mike Trout. Mike Trout's going to hit a sharp liner down the line, but Bregman who is playing the line, will record the out. So two good defensive rotations here for the Astros. As Anthony Rendon is up next, 1-0 to him. That's not a good defensive rotation. Might have spoke too soon as he's going to beat the shift down the first base line. And Rendon will have a two-out double here for the Angels. Next up, Justin Upton. Upton is going to launch one deep to left center. That ball is back, and that ball is gone. It's two-run shot this time for Justin Upton. His fourth of the season, second of the day. And the Astros continue to struggle both offensively as well as in the bullpen. Sounds like almost the same tune last year. And we're just going to cut to the end of this one. It's final score, Angels win this one 7-1. to one. They also hit two more solo shots in this game. And just a frustrating performance. The Astros just cannot hit the ball. Like It doesn't matter where the pitch is. It doesn't matter the timing or anything. They just cannot put the baseball where it needs to go. So Tiny will get the win on the season. McCullers will get the loss. And play of the game, I'm assuming, has to go to a Justin Upton. Uh, we'll take a look in a second. He did have two home runs. He did get it three for four, two home runs, a double in this one. And the Angels also got solo shots by Walsh and Grulon. So the seven and nine hitters. Our only run was that solo shot by Reddick. Game two, we do win. This time, three to two. Another low scoring affair for the offense as it was Reddick's two doubles and Cano's three run solo or home run that gave us the win. But in game three, we do lose 10 to 9. It's time the offense does finally score a bunch of runs. But it's the bullpen again that lets us down. So we fall to 5 and 8 to start the season. Kind of the same story we saw last year as we got to a very slow start last year. And next game is a bye. But we're actually not going to play the Astros next. We're going to go actually take our first look at the Miners. They have opening day. Forrest Whitley will be on their mound for the AAA Round Rock Express. That'll be a fun to one watch while the Corpus Christi Hooks will travel to play the Springfield Cardinals. That'll be in the next episode, but I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break from the series. I'm just really struggling at MLB, and it's kind of frustrating me at times. So I think I'm just going to take the week off. So there's not going to be an Astros video next week. But they will return in two weeks. I just want to give myself a nice solid break. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry we cannot get that much offense going. But make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below. Especially if you want more Astros content. This is Mr. Rob. And I'll see you in the next one.